Hello, this is Raina with Lila Crafts coming on today as part of an open collaboration called Hashtag Scripture Journaling Cards. And so this is something totally different for me. It is open so you can jump on in and join. It is hosted by Susan of Susan Hiles Art and Helen of Moss Cottage. And I will put a link to both of their channels in the description below, as well as to the hashtag and the other collaborators that are in here. And what it is is um, on on the, the three Thursdays, this one and the following two, um, we are to do a few different things. And the first one is to make an envelope that will host Bible journaling cards or a folio and decorate it. So that's what I'm going to do on camera with you today. But before I do, I just want to say if um, you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would so love it if you subscribe. And I thank you so much to all my um, existing subscribers and my thumbs up givers. Okay. Let's jump on. This is my um, this is my scripture journal book that um, that I'm doing right now, and I'll do a flip through through that um, later. And I utilize this paper pad, this one that I've had in my stash for a long time, this Martha Stewart paper pad, um, and so I use that to kind of cover my journal. And so I was thinking and I use this cut apart here, but I was thinking I could put my envelope right on top here and then um, stick all my scripture journaling cards in the front. So I'm really loving that. So I am gonna focus just on decorating the front of my envelope. So the first thing I did was I just uh, made an envelope um, that will fit a three and a half by five inch index card. And um, I just punched this out on my envelope punch board and I'm just going to seal this up real quick. Okay, so that's all we need to do. And then what I did was I found some coordinating paper that I liked in the paper pad, which was this sheet right here. Um, and it is two-sided. I'm gonna use this for some of my scripture journaling cards. And so what I did was I turned it over and I traced this envelope and then I just cut that out so I could have an insert piece right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, oh, actually, before I do that, I wanna add this white pom-pom trim. And so I'm just going to glue this in and then I'm going to glue down my, um, my envelope. Okay, so next thing I did was I gathered some um, items that I thought might be pretty to um, decorate and layer up on the front. Um, so I just, I have like a stash of like doodads on my desk um, that I um, keep handy for, for projects to add. Um, this was given to me by Sally Lentz, this beautiful stamped out word, Faith. Um, so I have that. Um, I love to use this gold twine right here. It's like a thick gold twine um, and um, I thought this uh, ribbon which I recently hauled from AliExpress was so pretty this pink with gold so I I love to add bows to things I'm just gonna take my first item here and put some hot glue and glue this wreath on down and then the next thing I wanted to do was put this bigger uh, piece on um, this octagon that somebody um shared with me my my sweet friend emmy um shared that with me she is from entropy crafts so i'm gonna just put some hot glue on this little heart here and i'm trying to make my way i don't want to cover the whole bottom i do want to kind of concentrate it over here on this side I do want to make sure that, again, the word faith is the most prominent. So I think gluing it along the bottom there. Now, normally I would probably put some um, spacers um, or foam ad uh, adhesive squares or such behind these things um, to add more dimension. But um, since this is going to go on the front of my journal, and I know my journal is going to get puffy just because I love... Um, you know, dimension, I thought that I would do that differently. So let me see here. And it's okay to get things out that you don't end up using too. So don't think just because you got it out, that means you have to use it. Um, a little bit of gold. So what I like to do to add the gold thread is um, I like to make some loops 
on the table right here. Just cut a little piece off. And so I just like to make a couple. Sometimes I make two, sometimes I make three. And um, then where they meet in the middle, I'm just gonna put a little dab of hot glue. Oops. And then I've got um, a little spatula that I'm gonna use to kind of dry that glue, um, but not burn my fingers. So now you can see I've kind of got that glued together and I want to go ahead and incorporate these little threads. So I'm just gonna add a dab of hot glue here. All right, and then next I'm going to put this little flower in. Okay, and then I'm gonna top it off with a bow. Now, if this sticking out like that is bothering you, like it's bothering me, I'm just gonna add a little dab of hot glue behind this flower leaf and pull it more tight like that. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right, and then um, I'm going to add, I'm gonna add the bow like that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on. Now I tied this double bow off screen and if you would like to learn how to tie a double bow, I'll include that uh, video link up, up at the top of the screen right there so that you can click on that and do that. Okay, there, there I have it. That is my decorated envelope that I'm going to use to hold my, um, my scripture journaling cards. And so thank you so much for stopping by today and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.